He'd spent his last night on Earth at a special cosmonaut hotel, emerging composed and relaxed. How's he feeling? Fantastic, he shouts. His two sons, Thomas and Oliver, waved him off. A moment of pride and high emotion for everyone. Nigel, can I ask you, how, how was that seeing him come out just oh, then? Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely magic. I mean, it's all a surreal again, but brilliant. <laughs> Tim's wife, Rebecca, beaming with pride, not a trace of nerves. Will you ever be able to look at the stars in the same way again, do you think? Well, it'll give us something extra to look at, that's for sure. Now that we know Daddy's up there, so um, yeah, we'll be. We'll have something else to look out for in the night sky, so it'll be great. Inside building 254, where his Soyuz capsule is assembled, we watch Tim Peake arrive for the lengthy suiting up. And then a final ceremonial salute to the Russian Space Commission before that final goodbye. The ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected. He'd spent six years training for this moment, and now it was all systems go. Well, it's liftoff for Mission Principia, 26 million horsepower, thrusting Tim Peake into space. And liftoff. Liftoff of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peake on their way to the International Space Station. Accelerating him up to 17 and a half thousand miles an hour, he experienced G-forces five times those on Earth. Was he enjoying it? You bet he was. Then the moment of weightlessness, the talisman floating in front of him, showing he was now in space. Everything going well. <laughs> How crazy is that? Wow. Yes, they have. Yeah. At Baikonur, his wife Rebecca and two sons were watching. Is Daddy in the rocket? Yes. He's yes. 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 100 kilometers high. Yes. He's officially an astronaut. After six hours, his Soyuz aborted the initial approach after a malfunction. Instead, a manual docking saw Tim, Tim and Yuri safely through the hatch and immediately into a video conference with family in Kazakhstan. You selected a window seat. What did you see? Well, you know, it was a, a beautiful launch and uh, we got launched straight into night and got on with the work. But uh, that first sunrise was absolutely spectacular and uh, we also got the benefit of a moonrise on the first orbit as well, which is beautiful to see. Now, finally, Major Tim is an astronaut and ready for his first much-needed sleep in space. Audio communication. Dam Rivers, News at 10, Baikonur, Kazakhstan.